we have uh, two grills at the back there. And this used to be a flat top grill, so I decided to uh, remove all the guts of the flat top grill. And um, I want to cook a little bit more earthy. Uh, so we've been using a Japanese charcoal called Bicho Ten um, to, to grill. So we're just firing it up at the moment. So there's a lot of flame happening. And we just gotta wait for it to die down and then we'll be doing a, a dish with it. My Japanese master chef there, sorting it out. How's it going there, Chef? Chef Ishikawa? Yeah, maybe a few minutes. We, oui, Chef. Good afternoon, my name is Matthew McCartney. I'm exec chef at uh, Shadow Yearing. I've been here for around about seven years. We have a fine dining restaurant, which is Eleanor's, and that's one of the dishes that I'm going to present for you today. This is going to be uh, calamari grilled on robata with grilled marin, which is uh, from Western Australia, sensational product and very unique, uniquely Australian and just with some uh, nice textures and elements. So I'm going to start out by grilling our calamari and our marin. So just dressed with a little bit of olive oil. Nice bit of salt. And a little bit of uh, pepper. So it's just been scored so as it curls up nicely. Tan, which is a Japanese coal. Um, it gives a really nice, it, it burns at a very high heat, it burns for a long time, and it gives a really nice uh, taste to the uh, shellfish especially and uh, the calamari. itself has just been uh, cleaned up, we get them in live, we uh, take the meat from the tail, then we uh, roll it, uh, poach it in sous vide for about uh, 10 minutes on 55 degrees just to set the meat so it's uh, nice and fairly cooked. So you get that beautiful caramelisation. With calamari you don't want to cook it too long, otherwise it gets tough. Right. To start the dish, we're going to put uh, some soy and almond cream just soy milk and uh, toasted almonds which are just uh, blitzed up and add a little bit of uh, xanthan to just to give it a body. Then I've got uh, toasted amaranth here which is a nice grain and it gives a really nice texture to the dish. Then I've got here squid ink rocks which are basically like a biscuit but made with squid ink. Some lemon ash, which we make in house. We have a uh, lemon tree, which we grow uh, Maya lemons on. And so we take, every time we juice the lemons, we save all the rinds and the outers of the lemons, uh, put it in the hot box overnight until it's completely dry, and then roast it off in the oven until it's completely black. And then just blitz it up, and it makes a really nice citrusy powder, uh, which is really tasty and it's really good for coating fish with. So, next, last cooking element of the dish. I'm going to saute off some cauliflower and cauliflower is particularly nice with this dish um, and it goes, because of its sweet earthy flavour, it goes really nicely with the calamari. So a little bit of olive oil in a pan and we just want to sort of brown it off a little bit. A little bit of salt. While that's cooking, we're going to start to construct the dish. So just Cut the calamari into a couple of pieces. Put 
in the grilled marin. This is a uh, umabodo or sea grapes. It's like a basically like a type of seaweed, which is really nice. It's tasty. It gives a, a nice uh, burst in your mouth of saltiness. Some samphire. So the flavors on this dish are about, because there's some light creamy elements to it. So we want a bit of like a salt hit. With the cauliflower, I want it lightly toasted, but I still want to keep the texture of the cauliflower. I still want it to be a little bit crunchy. This is a uh, ice plant or ice lettuce, um, which hasn't been available in Australia until recently. Uh, it's lovely. It's almost like a cucumber, but it's got this uh, beautiful, uh, almost like frozen look on the outside. Then a couple of flowers from our garden, just some uh, violets. The toasted cauliflower. Then to finish off, a drizzle of olive oil, and we do a cauliflower foam. Um, now the cauliflower foam, we actually just brine the cauliflower itself in salt water, um, so as it's already seasoned, and then we just make a basic cauliflower puree. Straight into the gun, give it a good shake. Three little dollops of the foam. That's it. So Rabata grilled calamari and marin, toasted cauliflower, almond cream and lemon powder. <laughs>